Hey guys, how's it going? So with this video series, I'm going to focus on some of the fundamentals of chemistry. I originally wanted to start this video by talking about atoms and protons and neutrons, but then I realized that there's a few core things that I have to mention about studying in STEM and science before we continue. If you're just starting your journey about learning about chemistry or biology and starting to feel overwhelmed with all the jargon and words and terms that you feel like you just have to master after the first time hearing them, it's okay. We all feel this way. I've been studying chemistry for about six years and I still always find myself feeling like I only know nothing or 1% of the information I'm supposed to know. It's this constant feeling that STEM does that it puts pressure on us to feel like we have to master the material and everyone around us seems better or more prepared than we are. It's okay to appreciate going a little slower. And that's the approach we're going to take throughout this series of general chemistry. We're going to take things slow, make it conversational, break down each of the parts of the topic we're talking about, ask ourselves why, how, what does this connect to the bigger picture? And hopes that if we take this slow approach with little to no pressure on having to master or memorize everything as we learn it, and said, focus on how it connects the dots, we can build this building or structure or foundation that we can use to build to learn organic chemistry, biochemistry, and other classes that build upon the foundations of chemistry. In my years of studying chemistry, I've been able to divide the topics into about two subjects, roughly ones that focus on the math of chemistry, such as the ones that you are maybe familiar with, with stoichiometry, moles, gas laws, stuff like that. Whereas the visuals, my favorite part, focus on molecules, looking at how the electrons interact within that molecule, how molecules interact with molecules around them, and so on. Both the math and the visuals can come off very scary to people who are just learning organic chemistry, because there's a lot of fundamentals that are built behind the math that we study. But I don't want you to get scared just yet. We're going to take a very slow approach, so that hopefully, when we start talking about the math, we've been able to saturate and manifest on the foundations that are used to build it that really we're just focusing on the math. You know this video is coming off a little short, but I definitely wanted to mention this before we started diving into the foundations and fundamentals of chemistry. I know I have different collections talking about organic chemistry and biochemistry, but I thought to myself, if I'm going back to the start, I want to lay down some ground rules. Hopefully with this slow, community-growing approach, even though chemistry can come off scary, we could still find the cool and interesting things within it. The things that I get super nerdy about. So, I hope this video will calm you down a little bit as we introduce and start talking about chemistry. Now, all the infographics that you see me use throughout these videos, I'm going to provide for free download. So if you're going to rewatch it or plan to watch it, you can download the graphics and follow along. And hopefully that interactive video and infographics can help with the studying process. So I hope you guys have a great day and the next video will be about atoms and protons and neutrons. Thank you so much.